This is the South Australian coastline. Not Nah. Four years ago, Stevie and I attempted to explore this coastline, however... Catastrophic conditions. They are the worst conditions that our people could be operating in. We were forced to flee across the Nullarbor before it closed. Four years later, we're back. Go. Go where the wind takes us. We've got Mac Tash and Zalia in the dad bus towing a Maverick hybrid. Swim. Win. Oh, she's ready. Stevie's sister Monique and her partner Louie in her brand new Nabara, as well as Jamin and his partner Frida in the Troopy. The plan was to make a few scenic stops before our first major stop, Beachport. Welcome to the 12 Apostles. No, actually, I don't know how many are left. Uh, do they count down there, those little baby ones? However, the dad bus suffers a catastrophic mechanical setback. It wasn't just one tooth. Ugh. Forced to take refuge in the small town of Millicent. I'll be honest, things have never looked worse for the start of a trip. What was the noise? There was one at the back, but hey. Yeah. That's the one I'm chasing. But it's a, it's a, like a rattly weird. Yep. That's it. Rattly. I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. Go again. Spin it. No, spin it. Yeah, that's the noise. No, it was like a weird. I know what it is. What? Huh? It's meant to be manual. Why <laughs> 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 to kick a man when he's down, eh? Hey? <laughs> Oh, there's a manual one over there. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I'll just, oh, manual on Gulf Street, is it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll hook the van up to yours, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Macca. Oh, just a, just a hillbilly diff, you know, but just a bit toothless. Like, how? <laughs> I wasn't doing anything silly this time. I was just driving normally. Well, you're not um, used you to were, towing yet. You were, big you caravan. Towing caravan. Oh, I was towing, <laughs> towing a caravan, yeah. I'd never shock loaded it. Oh, no. Yeah. Gears again. I just did <laughs> gears. <laughs> well, lucky you don't have a custom gears. Trail 488 gear. Yeah, maybe I'll go back to 39 so I can just bang a center in and not have to worry about gears. I don't hate it when you go to the dentist and they oh, pull a tooth out. <laughs> Day what, two of the trip? Yeah. Like we just started, like we just got the cameras out. We haven't even bloody filmed much yet. <laughs> but this car's broken every trip. Like, call me Bailey winning. <laughs> I don't know how morally friendly our um, oil pot is, but. Yeah, yeah. Have we caught the oil? Can I just remind everyone we're in a caravan park? We're in a caravan park, <laughs> and we've caught the oil, so now we just need to go to our nearest oil disposal there. <laughs> I know where there's one. There's so much metal in that. Mm. You can be on the new like MTV show, it's like, <laughs> instead of Gold Rush. Yeah. <laughs> Centre Rush. <laughs> Morale is low and the rest of the trip uncertain. We did get one of the nicest sunsets I've seen. However, we are not sure at this point what's going to happen. The current plan, Mac reckons, give him two days and he'll meet back up with us further down the road. So we're gonna go get stuck in to Beachport. Alrighty guys, welcome to Beachport. We are about to hit the dunes and drive all the way to Nora Serena. We're told there's a fair few camp spots along the way. So the aim is to spend about two days, maybe three days. We actually have no idea. It's very windy down there, so we might just have to drive straight through and just have a look. Anyway, we're at the start here. Just come through Beachport, letting the tires down. Today we have myself and the Navara, Jamin and the troop carrier. That's right, Jamin back on the channel. And Stevie's sister Monique in her brand new Navara, which I'll show you soon. So yeah, let's get stuck into it. I'm ready. Look, wind protection. Swim, wind. <laughs> Swim, wind. How would you explain what's happened to Mac? Just fix it, hey. <laughs> Just get it fixed, Dad. We're you going to have the a flat tire. I don't understand what the big deal is. <laughs> Anyone else would be screwed. Well, I must admit, he's the right person. For 100%. It. 
100%. So yeah, Mac is uh, back in Millicent, which is a small town, and he's going to attempt to make the impossible happen, which he normally pulls off. You see Stevie's over there teaching girls about tyre pressures. Yeah, I was actually impressed. I shut up and had a little listen, and she's... I feel like she's been with you, what, 25 years now? She's <laughs> <laughs> First time on the beach? Yes. This is a real deal, this beach, I'm told. <laughs> it's pretty light yours, so we're going down to 10. Excellent. On the KMCs, would you believe it? Just got to remember to put it in full drive. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally your first. Yeah, I've never driven on it. You have, on Fraser with us. No. Oh, this car. On the, with the car. Okay. It's my first time with the that car. Is that one done, TJ? Let's get stuck into it. First time Monique's had the new Navara off-road and it is nailing it as expected. There is a bunch of steep inland tracks to navigate in here. It is super fun, but really easy to lose each other. Don't know which way he went. Got to a bit with like four ramps. Did you go through there? Yeah, where are you? Oh, I'm there. Which way did you go? I just kept on the beach, sort of like, and now I'm in a big open paddock and there might be someone up the top. We don't have much similar to this in Queensland at all. Macca has no idea what he's missing out on here. It's one of those hurry up and wait moments. It is so windy on the beach, like 50 kilometer an hour gusts. We're going to try and find a lunch spot up in the dunes behind because down on the beach is just no go for cooking. Yep. Still welcome. June section now, it's pretty cool. Let's look for a lunch spot that's not too windy. It's a problem today, everything's windy as. Guys and girls, if you are enjoying this episode and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, it really does help us bring you bigger and better videos every single week. So head over there now and hit the button for us. It really does make a difference. Driving for about half an hour, a bunch of inland tracks that lead you to all these sand bowls or you can run the ocean the entire tide at the moment, that's why we've kind of stuck in land. Anyway, I'm gonna have a lunch here. What a spot for lunch. To figure out where to camp tonight, I'm not sure yet. All right, we've had lunch. I think we're gonna try and find a camp spot. It looks like a nice bay, Nora Karina Bay or something. It's just so windy everywhere, it's hard to get out. Little sand bowl is pretty protected behind that wall of sand. Bigger tire than you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we had to stop at the Robe RSL so I can win 200 grand for focus. <laughs> it's up for sale soon. Trying to find a campsite, it says Little Dip Camp down this way, but I think it's slightly veered off into a fork. I think we should go the other side. It's pretty cool though, we're at the edge of this cliff, it's like a big overhang. It looks unreal. Oh, 
It does seem other people have camped here before, but due to the weather, we're gonna keep trying to find another spot. Rather than just sitting around licking my wounds, I'm gonna go start prepping this bad boy. So I'm gonna get the center out and I'll show you exactly what's broken uh, once it's out. And with any luck, this new one rocks up that Pooley's building for us. Bloody legend, he, I bet he regrets being my friend. <laughs> and I'm um, gonna get that in and hopefully be on the road tomorrow. So appreciate uh, Millicent Caravan Park here for uh, not caring that I'm pulling my car apart in the middle of the road. But pretty quiet at the moment, I said they get busy next week, so that's good. I'm gonna look like an episode of Huzo's at the caravan park, but anyway, this is what's going on. A little bit of backlash there, probably too much. No side to side play, but not entirely sure why it's broken, but um, here's the rest of them, eh? Alrighty, still on the hunt for camp. What are these called, Stevie? Rabbit holes. <laughs> rabbit holes. My favourite. All right, so straight through the rabbit holes. Maybe most people know them as wombat holes. <laughs> <laughs> I like rabbit holes better. Welcome to tonight's camp. We probably should have stayed closer to the lunch spot because we were planning on beach camping, but it turns out where we are now can't really do that. It just doesn't seem, or we don't know where to. Dinner is a cooking. Stevie is looking after me with fish, broccolini, and pasta. Whew. Did you get the white in from? Um, we got it from Portland Fishery. This is all. We're having an a la carte fish dish, and Jamin's <laughs> got his bloody induction cranking amazing. Yeah, have you seen Jamin's induction? Since, uh, have you seen it? Oh, are you doing that? Yeah. Weren't you doing the <laughs> fish? I am. I'm doing fish. You're I'm doing, doing fish, fish tomorrow night now. We're gonna do fish oh, tomorrow night. Your boiled well. potato. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah. How gorge. So I just jumped on the parks.sa website and got our permits for Long Gully. In this wind, it's probably a better option to be up here out of the wind, so well, not too bad. Well, welcome to day two on the beaches. This is Nora Krina Bay. Thought we'd uh, pack up camp and head back here today. It's a super nice little protected bay from the wind. See the savage ocean out past the day. But in here is pretty nice. Yeah, we might hang out here till lunch and go for a swim. It's pretty nice. Double jumper represent. <laughs> it's hot. What are you doing? Cooking brekkie. Yeah. Bit of brekkie. Bacon. On eggs. the tailgate. Oh, it doesn't get much better than this. When Stevie and I were in Sorrento, like probably a week ago, we did an ice bath session and I feel like I got a bit of training. So I thought, huh, I'm gonna go for a swim. It's definitely still cold. Oh, it's, I'm not acclimatized at all for that water. So me and Jamie have just gone for a swim. Monique, ex-Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was in the Navy. She's, we've uh, convinced her so she's going for a swim. Stephen Louie. I'm going okay. in. Oh, he's going in. Louie's doing I've been, it. I've been shamed. <laughs> going in the water. The man didn't get, enter the water. I know. I'll end up the only boy on this trip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've been downgraded to boy. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what the temperature the water is. I think it's about 16. Kind of guessing though. It's pretty cold. Thank you. My Brain professional. My stipples will have stipples, but we'll get it done. <laughs> yeah, let's get it done. <laughs> the Tasmanian's in. <laughs> I do not recommend that. <laughs> I thought you were from Tasmania, mate. Yeah, I think I've acclimatised to Queensland too well. <laughs> over the last nine years. I'm going with like 13. But that was I, really I actually don't know. Just, it was, that felt like an ice bar yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> my, I think it's my 16. My shins hurt and my testicles are redundant. <laughs> Word on the street, Max received the park. Part, not park. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what is going on with Macca. 
apparently he's uh, on the home straight trying to fix the diff center. I did get a call from him and he told me that there were multiple teeth chipped off the gear set, which is just no good, especially if you're towing. So hopefully he gets that sorted today. Our saviour, Santa Claus. How's it going? How are you, mate? Yeah, good. Long drive. I've got your diff and now it's just time to get it in. Thanks, mate. How good. And oil. And I see you brought the Taj Mahal. The Eminence 18.6, so the Aussie made range of the Mavericks. Wow, that's cool. Big thanks, Uncle Pooley, uh, staying up late last night with Ethan, getting this thing built. Appreciate you, mate. You're a bloody legend. And Ethan for bringing it. Push her in, get her in. Down to the next, Stevie. This, this part. <laughs> Wim Hof it! Wim Hof it! <laughs> Warm the water! <laughs> Go under! Disaster strikes! Go down! <laughs> <laughs> she's supposed to be from Sweden! <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's the one from Sweden. They swim in zero degree water. They're the one heard more hurting. The, one, the worst one I've done was still key. Yeah. That was like... I couldn't be in there. Took my <laughs> away. I was going to drown. Meanwhile, it seems that Maka is actually going to pull off the impossible for like the third or fourth time in a row. The diff is coming together perfectly. Oh. my hair up. I my <laughs> How is the Navara going, Monique? Loving it so far. Simple setup. Oh my god, it's so great. Yes, Love very it. simple setup. Your yeah. first four-wheel drive. Yes, first four-wheel drive. So it's a brand new Navara, but it's a super simple setup. I let her sort of borrow my old wheels. You might recognise the KMCs. The grenades are on it. We basically just did a two-inch lift Puria UCAs and the throttle grenade, the anytime locker switch, and that's literally all that's been done to the vehicle super capable as they come pretty much and it's got the old rooftop tent i ran to the day and tree like two years ago it's literally my setup from two years ago <laughs> what other little sneaky tricks have you done in here mate yes. well louis put some water tubs down the back uh -huh. two 15 liter water tubs connected it onto a little hose so just there just to have some gravity water fed. gravity fed it's got some tubs for you know cooking and pantry and this is where the big bad esky goes. Oh, the drinks esky. Yeah. Got some ah, containers got... in there for the food. Just plug the hose into that, basically, and it just feeds across to both drums and breather on the other side. So you just didn't have um, the funds to do it like a proper tub rack, so you've done a homemade one. It actually works quite well for now. Yeah. Timber uh, form ply, is it? Yeah, form ply. Just 12, uh, 18 mil form ply. Cut to the shape of the... Cut to the shape of the tub. And um, screw it in some 90 by 45 pine on both sides. And you got yeah, the Bunnings lights? Choice, yeah. We've got, we've got lights <laughs> on both sides. <laughs> There's party lights under here. <laughs> Night time. Tough terrain. Bin bag. Yep. Bin bag. Work treat. And... Whack this on so we didn't dirty up the tray. Oh, yep. yeah, you've got the cutting board. Yeah, we can use it as a chopping board. Just our table, you know. It's level. Keeping it simple. We've got two TJ's awnings. I don't know why we've got them. <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned about it being pine and rattling around, but it's, I think I've built it well enough so tight that nothing's moving. So. You have to show everyone your interior mods. Is $19 from Kmart. <laughs> you've got the zips all through the bottom and a big one down the bottom and that just holds all your bits and pieces. I even like the seat We covers, don't even really like them, but... Came with two of these mad air fresheners. <laughs> Shackers. And they're just borrowing one of my GME handhelds for now. So we can have communication. Roger, Dodger, over. Under 800 bucks for the whole thing. Wow. Okay. That's including well, the seat cover. That is including the Esky. That's including the Esky. 380 bucks. Yes. Yeah. Simple rooftop tent, but I already had it, so I just had that. But you can pick them up for about 200 bucks from Marketplace. Yeah. You could you could do this setup for a thousand bucks easily. Yeah, like so really a, probably better. It's probably a thousand bucks, and you can have a similar sort of setup. And they're going they're going everywhere we are and doing everything we are. So obviously they got us as backup, but <laughs> yeah. it's uh, it's doing really good. Yeah, Five so days in the trip, and it hasn't been a super long trip yet. But yeah, it's going to be a three week trip all up. So yeah, pretty cool. Ladies and gents. Let's hope everything is all right. We're gonna go for a quick blocky. We're gonna do a half hour drive and then stop and try and heat cycle the gears. All right, car starts, that's a plus. 
Oh. Drives nice. I feel like it took off a little bit better. No sandboarding. Must have been some youth sandboarding crimes occurring. Jamin reckons there's some cool rock pools over here. As soon as the sun goes away, it's bloody cold again. I thought it was supposed to be summer. What's going on, South Oz? If you ever make it to this Nora Karina Bay, head over the sand hill. There is a bunch of little rock pools and rock formations. Make sure you take some footwear. They're pretty sharp, but it is unreal. Heaps of sea life, coral and whatnot in here to check out. <laughs> Definitely not thong terrain. Look at this. Advanced thong usage. <laughs> Should be like pretty nice swimming, but you literally just need shoes because there's no way you can barefoot this. Cut your feet dry. Welcome to Roe, but we're in a caravan park here. Check out the view. Just waiting for Macca to turn up. Apparently he's on the way. It is fixed, I've been told. Just gonna air up the tires here. Got a new tough terrain compressor, actually. Gonna whack that on and uh, show Jamin how good it is. So we're 12 tires in, impressed. Oh, yeah. That bus has made it. Lucky we uh, locked the hubs in. I didn't even lock the hubs. I was like, yeah, put it full drive. Didn't lock the hubs. Dude, when do you camp here, mate? I reckon we go to the next spot. What do you reckon? All right, so the plan was just to go check out what this long beach is. It's a pretty cool spot. If it wasn't windy, it'd be super nice. It's pretty white sand. Uh, but it's pretty much in line with the highway, so we can just jump straight back on and keep going to Victor Harbour today. Now we've met back up with Macca. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. I'm sure we'll find more, but this one's pretty pink, like, it's pretty pink to me. Oh, green bloody green, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not blue. <laughs> the glasses. Yeah. It looks <laughs> actually looks sick through the glasses. It's actually impressively pink, eh, Jeff? Yeah, I tasted it, it was gross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a bit of a symptom, Jeff? Yeah, it's super salty. Yeah, that's a uh, result of the salt. <laughs> Stop my <they> laced! <laughs> there are a number of pink lakes in South Australia and you're bound to run into one eventually. This is the Kurong Salt Lake. We managed to score it pretty pink. Our original plan here was to head to Victor Harbour. Due to the bad weather, once again we push through to Rapid Bay. Christmas decos. It's a bit cute. It you is know, beautiful. With our best friends. Got to celebrate the Christmas, <laughs> Christmas spirit. Is this a bad setting scene? Yeah, I think so. Where did this magical... <laughs> where did the magical bit come from? <laughs> That's how quick it happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is the finished product. Where's the salt land? Uh, it's charging on the roof. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> keeps, it keeps coming. We've got entertainment now. Yeah. We've got entertainment, a bit of Christmas movies. Yeah, what do we got? Netflix. What do we got? I think that's the Swiss Alps, to be honest. <laughs> that's definitely... Oh, is that some moving screens over? Yeah. Oh, not wasting this weekend. Nah, it's not even the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
The original Rapid Bay jetty, over 400 metres long, was used for the limestone mine. They used to mine limestone and ship it over to Broken Hill. However, now Rapid Bay is mainly just a tourist destination. Your holiday fit on. Yeah, because there's no wind and it's warm, and I can finally wear the clothes I actually packed for this trip. You disagree? It's still cold. <laughs> Alright, it's the next morning. We're at Rapid Bay. As you can tell, no wind. Really good conditions for the morning. So, we're gonna go check out this cave. Last time we came it was like four years ago. Evie and I, we came for a walk to this cave, but it was literally a cyclone out couldn't even talk to each other barely. Also, don't you reckon there's like a secret beach around the next two headlands, Stevie? Can't get to it without a, like a kayak or something, so. Okay, this is one of the main attractions at Rapid Bay, the big cave. Thought we'd go check it out, Stevie. Better put my Crocs in sport mode. <laughs> Crocs are locked and loaded sport mode for this, no doubt. It goes for a long way, we need a big torch. Yeah, I've only got my phone. There's a crevice there. Going a long way, does it? Oh. Yeah, it goes a long way. <laughs> it's like pitch black in here. Yeah. Oh, I think it stops with it. Oh, yeah, it stops there. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh. We're in the cave. Oh, it's a proper cave. Oh, this keeps keep going, going and going. going. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting inside there, too. Right, we're about probably 50 metres in now. You wouldn't want your light to go out. No. It's a little bit scary in here. I'm not sure if I like the dark. What's your rating of the cave in the dark here? Worth going in or not? If you have somebody to protect you, if a bat comes flying out. Well, you wouldn't go in on your own without a torch? Absolutely not. You reckon, really? <laughs> Pretty spooky. <laughs> on, out would we go. Small, small trials true. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's the cave. I reckon that went in about over 50 metres. It's a long way in there. Pretty cool. Is that Mac Preston? Hey, I want to see the cave. Is that Mac Preston from YouTube? Thought so we'd come back in for Macca? Yeah. What do you reckon? Good. You know what's gnarly about this one? You could go at any time. No, I reckon man-made one's more dangerous. Stevie and Louis were adamant to go find the secret beach. I mean, I had a drone, so straight over and I found it right away. I don't there's, know what. there's just something though about exploring, <laughs> taking your <laughs> shoes off. There's another beach around here. But holy, the water is so clear. Man, it's crystal clear. So nice. I thought it was meant to be like Antarctic sea and it's gonna be like <laughs> dark blue, raging, freezing, ice cold. Icebergs. Stevie and Louie pushed on and actually made it around to the secret beach, but we headed back to the main bay. Conditions are absolutely epic to go swimming today. We've absolutely nailed the weather. I can see why this camp spot is so popular. This is the main bay where you can camp. Caravans are welcome. It's a pay as you stay situation. No official amenities. However, there is a caretaker and there is council toilets. If you get a chance, definitely worth taking the time to come down and check out Rapid Bay. Locked and loaded, mate. Another day on the road. Another day on the road. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, just all packed up. Gonna hook her up. Don't know where we're going next because this seems to be one of those we go where the wind takes us. What a waste of love. Next episode, we continue to head west across the South Australian coastline. I have so much more to show you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, helps us out a lot if you do guys. I'll leave you with a few juicy shots for what you get to expect next episode.